Hey guys, welcome to another video and finally, yes, finally MIUI 13 is over here. So much hype, so many things, so much of waiting and finally it's here. It's there on one of our phones since last night and I've been using it. This is sort of a review and a look at the new features that are included in MIUI 13. Now understand this is a beta build. This is a China beta that we are talking about. So there will be things which will change by the time this comes to the global version. But nonetheless, this definitely gives us a clear sneak peek into what MIUI 13 actually is, how smooth it is, how much better it performs and stuff like that. So watch the complete video till the end to know all the features and to see, you know, how your device can probably benefit from this particular update. But before we get into the complete video, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like minded people, well, please join us on Telegram. We have more than 1500 people. You can join us on Telegram, Facebook and Instagram as well. And if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please Please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So let's see here. We have MIUI 13 21.12.27 nightly. If you go to what's new, you will see that we don't have permission because these are internal beta builds that we are talking about. If you go to all specifications, you will see that the device is a Mi 11X. The RAM is now clearly shown as 6 GB plus 2 GB because RAM extension is enabled. The CPU speed over here though is a mistake because this is a Snapdragon 870 which can go up to 3.2 GHz and I have seen the device do that. So this should be fixed in the next beta. Android version of course is 12 over here. You do get the beautiful Android 12 Easter egg as well, but that's where the story for Android 12 ends. Now, I'm really disappointed that Xiaomi did not include the Monet engine or, you know, the Material U customization and stuff. No hint, nothing at all. And uh, that's, that's disappointing for sure because Android 12's major feature in terms of customization is the Monet UI. It would have been lovely to see that in this particular update, just like One UI 4 just like how Samsung have done and some other brands are doing it. Anyways, the security update is the 1st of December. There is a December security patch and uh, it does come with the perf kernel. So the performance should be identical to what it was in 12.5 enhanced or MIU 12.5 beta builds. Now, there are a lot of things that we need to cover. So one by one, we will go to them. Now, the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that the look is very, very familiar, right? But you do have a search bar at the bottom. The dock now looks a little different. Along with this, if you talk about the app icon animations, they were already good on 12.5 enhanced, but now they are much more cohesive. It actually shows that they have done the work to improve these app icon animations. And remember, these are beta builds, so this will further improve. And that only excites me to be very, very honest. Now, if you pinch over here, you will get the new MIUI 13 launcher, as you can see over here. I have, of course, removed all the bloatware I could, the Chinese bloatware, because it's a China beta. So you have the wallpaper menu over here. Now it was promised that we will be getting new super wallpapers, but as of now, you just have these five, which are the old ones. So no, no new super wallpapers. What you do get though, is a lot of new live wallpapers. For example, you have this molten glass wallpapers. These look really, really nice and they work absolutely fine. So it's a treat to see these wallpapers move and the colors flowing like that on AMOLED displays. So that is a good thing. You also have something called as crystallization. So just see over here, watch how vitamin C crystallizes under a microscope. And then watch how citric acid crystallizes under a microscope. So these are good things, you know, they, they look good, they work well in these wallpapers. Initially, when you install this beta ROM, you will have to download them. Then you have a bunch of static wallpapers present over here. So these things are present and they work absolutely fine. Although what the new super wallpapers will be, I really don't know. If you do go to the themes section though, you will see that the theme store is available here. Like you do have a bunch of themes and most of the stuff will be in Chinese because this is a China ROM. So can't do much about that, right? Right. Now you do have your Android 12 widgets over here and you do have some issues. For example, if you press and hold this, there you go. Tap to get weather info. Okay. So once again, let's go to the pinch menu. Widgets. It's a little slow to load. You see that because these are beta builds that we are talking about. So let's go to say security and 
There you go. So it downloads those widgets. Some of them are not pre-included. It downloads that from the Xiaomi server and then it goes ahead and enables it. But these widgets are something different because they are the new smart widgets which are available in different shapes and sizes. Small widgets is what Xiaomi is calling it and they function pretty well. The widget look has also been customized compared to the previous Android 11 interface and that is something really really neat. Now one major highlight over here that everyone is talking about is the new font, right? So they are calling it Mi Sans and it looks fine to me. Fonts have never really made a lot of difference. More about the launcher over here. If you go to the left, you will see that you have an updated app vault, which has all these widgets arranged in a very, very organized manner. And they are really, really smooth. Smoothness is something MIUI 13 should be known for because even in these beta builds, the smoothness is really, really nice and it works well. For example, if I click the plus icon over here, uh, just pay attention to the way this thing comes from the bottom to the top. See this? Yeah. So those cohesive, you know, movements is what I'm talking about when, when, when you install a custom ROM or when you use a Google Pixel device or even an iOS device for that matter. That smoothness is what improves your user experience and that smoothness is seen in the first beta and I'm pretty sure with time these things will just improve. For example, if you go ahead and add a particular widget, it's saying just a sec because it's downloading the widgets. So because this is a beta, there will be things which are missing. There will be things which are broken. Now, if you go to the multitasking menu, one thing to note over here is just look at the animation of the multitasking menu. It was already good in 12.5 enhanced, but now these animations are even better. It's very, very smooth. You can actually feel to the touch that the animations are really, really smooth. You do have floating windows over here, which works absolutely fine. And there you go. So the multitasking is working great. No problem whatsoever. And if you go to the RAM menu, it still shows six gigabytes over here. So although in settings, it will show you it has six plus to eight gigabytes due to extension, but in the multitasking menu, it just shows you six gigabytes. Next up, let's talk about the control center. Now you've not received the new MIUI 13 control center yet, but we should get it really, really soon. You do have media playback and smart home enabled over here. And the animation once again of the control center is really, really subtle. It works absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. Apart from this, if you see over here, the speed and the smoothness is there. Now let's quickly go to say the launcher settings over here and you do get a few more options over here. So this is the MIUI 13 system launcher that we are talking about. Okay. You have app vault, app vault settings, all these things were all already present earlier, but there is one more new feature, which is known as don't show text. If you use the four by seven layout. So if you enable this, you will see that your app drawer now looks something like me pad. So you don't really have text over there. I'm not sure how useful will it be for people because I don't really find it useful, but yes, that option is present. Then you do have your usual stuff or global app icon animations, show memory status and things like those. But yes, the launcher has become much more smooth. The animations are much more subtle. So that is always a good thing, right? Now, apart from these new features being added, there are some new bugs as well. For example, when I installed this particular ROM, 120 Hertz mode was not working. And even if you go to display, you will not find the option to go ahead and change the refresh rate, be it 60 or 120. So for that, what you have to do is you have to enable developer options and then you have to go to the option called MIUI optimization. So you can turn it off and turn it on and your 120 Hertz will start working. So that is one bug that I discovered sometimes while adding widgets as well, you know, things are crashing. You have to restart the phone or restart the UI and stuff. So these things will improve gradually with time. But yes, as I said earlier, the app icon animations are really, really good. All the apps that are included in the system are now updated as you can see over here. Even if you go to the gallery, you get the new gallery version, which comes with, you know, the magic eraser and stuff like that. A video on that should be coming soon. As you can see, this is the new gallery version and it works very, very cohesively. Even the app icon animations are really fast and fluid as I've already said it a couple of times. Now, moving on, let's go to settings over here. Now under settings, you will see that this account detail menu is from China beta. That's how it looks in SIM cards and networks. You don't really have any major changes moving on under the Wi-Fi network option. You don't really have any major, major changes. So, you know, the Android 12 goodies, even in these menus is missing, which is really, really weird. Bluetooth connection and sharing wallpaper and personalization. As you can see over here, you have ring, ringtone notification alarms. Everything is still the same. 
Now under display, a lot of things are missing like MEMC and all the video customizations that you had, they are missing. But if you go to control center and status bar, everything is still the same. Always on display and lock screen. Well, although present, another bug over here, I just cannot get always on display to work. It might be specific to this particular build and later they will fix it. But as of now, always on display for me at least is not working at all. Now moving on, you have sound and touch in which you have your usual stuff of sound assistant and sound effects and profile video for incoming calls. So no new options over here. I don't see any new ringtones as well. The ringtones are pretty old as well. The UI is still just like the China beta. So as I said, you know, MIUI 13 is not focused towards new features and new UI look and feel. It is focused towards giving you better performance and that is what they are trying to do. So under fingerprint and screen lock, you will see that you don't really have face unlock. As far as the fingerprint unlock is concerned, it works absolutely fine. Now moving on, let's go to some other settings. For example, security, you do get a completely updated new security center over here, which gives you options to get screen lock. As you can see, shutdown confirmation. These options are present apart from this fine device, SIM security, MIA warning. Now remember, this is the China beta. So a lot of options like these will, you know, go missing by the time this particular ROM comes to the global variants of this device. Apart from this, you do have enhanced privacy protection. The UI still looks the same, but they have a lot of certifications over here. And in the presentation as well, they mentioned that they have paid a lot of attention to privacy protection. So as you can see, network interception, do not track, private space, privacy protection lab, incognito, secure input, lock apps. So these are a ton of options and they will improve your privacy experience, which is always a good thing. Now under battery, you do have the performance toggle over here and even in the control center, you can add a performance toggle. As you can see, they work cohesively together. That is always a good thing. The battery life on this particular ROM for me has been pretty decent. The overnight drain was around two to 3%. So that was really, really nice for an early beta. So the battery life on this ROM has been pretty decent, even in performance mode, even in the balance mode, I've tried each and every option. If you further go to battery over here, you will have all the options that were already present in MIUI 12.5. Further, you go to the apps menu under apps, you have system app settings, manage apps and all these standard stuff that you already, already had, but you do have secure mode. Keep your device secure. When secure mode is on, only the apps that passed Xiaomi security test will be able to be installed. So this is implemented and that is another, you know, good move towards securing your device experience. Now under additional settings, you have a usual stuff, including memory extension. So no new features there. Then you have screen time, which is alternative to digital well-being. And as you can see, you do have focus mode as well. So these are good things. The look is a little different in MIUI 13. Under special features, you do have the sidebar now. So as you can see over here, you can keep it always enabled and you can select the toolbox position. You can decide what game apps you want. You can decide what video apps you want and they should be working just fine. So the permanent sidebar makes a comeback and that is working really, really neat. Now under MIUI lab, you have flashcards and stuff. So I don't see AI preloading and things like those, but you do have front camera assistant. Show beautify and fill options while using the front camera, fill light brightness, beautify for video calls. So these features are added and present as well. So basically all in all, if you ask me, MIUI 13 as a whole is a step in the right direction. They are focusing on giving you better performance, better cohesiveness, and that is always a good thing. Now towards the end of the video, let's quickly talk about the benchmark numbers over here. So the CPU throttled to 89% of its max performance and the average score was 249, 196 GIPS. If you talk about the Geekbench numbers over here, let's actually go to the run that we did this morning while the phone was cooled down. You have 990 single core, 3294 multi-core, so rock solid score there. And in enter to benchmark, we did score a very good number of 687, 679. This is the highest I've seen on a stock ROM. So yes, MIUI 13 is not something new, not some new flashy looks and stuff like that. But if this is what they're going to do to each and every device, the experience is going to be much, much better. I hope they further optimize it. Let me know in the comment section if you are excited or disappointed with the launch of MIUI 13. Were you expecting something different or not? Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.